Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Foolish Fish Esoteric News with your weekly updates on the worlds of esoteric and occult book publishing and arts and events and paraphernalia. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, we are once again sponsored by Miskatonic Books. Thank you so much MiskatonicBooks.com for sponsoring the show. MiskatonicBooks.com if you do happen to not know MiskatonicBooks.com by now. Uh, they are a fantastic resource if you're looking for difficult to find esoteric books or occult books that have been out of print for a long time, or in fact the new upcoming uh, occult books that have been published by maybe small independent publishers, you know, the really beautiful stuff that comes out uh, every week that I tell you about in these shows. And this is the main reason why I'm so grateful to MiskatonicBooks.com for sponsoring the show is because they are so perfectly aligned with the Foolish Fish channel and uh, I'll give you an example over here with uh, of course the Green Mysteries, Arcana Viridia, you know the Three, Le uh, three Hands Press uh, uh, book which uh, was finally released just, uh, just last year I believe. Um, uh, very very difficult to uh, get a copy of this and well of course miskatonicbooks.com have a copy in stock and uh, you can go and check that out uh, straight away using the links down below but of course you know it's far from uh, all they have in store uh, if you just uh, just keep scrolling down you'll see all the lovely lovely books uh, that they've got in uh, their store. Uh, so uh, thank you MiskatonicBooks.com for sponsoring. Well I recorded that whole video yesterday and I put it out for members to watch and I was you know confidently going about my life and I went to bed and went to sleep and then this morning I realized that I didn't address the most important bit of news this week <laughs> and I didn't address it because I was I thought it you know so obvious that I'm going to be uh, talking about this that I didn't actually add it to my list and then when I sat down yesterday to actually write to, to, to open all the windows where uh, I'd be talking about um, uh, the items this week I, I it, well <laughs> I just didn't open it because it wasn't there because it was so obvious I was going to talk about it it's about Semisilam of course Anathema Publishing have put out a couple of very important updates. So the uh, the books are all there. They're all um, they they've received all the books uh, and they've actually posted some pictures, folks. Oh my goodness! Uh, I'll show you some some close ups in a moment in the second update. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you can see you can see the team there, <laughs> um, uh, uh, surrounded by boxes, and uh, they're 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 shipping out as fast as possible. However, there's a bit of a of a well, it's it, it's it's a it's a little problem. <laughs> they have basically set their prices for expediting, like the shipping, uh, at. Uh, the prices that they thought were right at the time. But uh, essentially, they're losing between five and $40 of their, of, of, of their own money, basically, uh, for every single package that they're sending out. And if you count that there's, uh, well, from, from if, I, if I remember correctly, there's, there's uh, yeah, 629 backers. Uh, yeah, that, that comes to a lot of money. Like uh, I was talking with Gabriel a couple of days ago and uh, yeah, that's, it's, 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 it's more than I was expecting, right? So basically every package that's got any kind of art in it, uh, is, is, especially if it's being sent outside of uh, of the Americas yeah they they're losing a lot of money on that because they hadn't considered that they're going to be keeping the um uh, the art inside boxes so that the art doesn't get squashed, of course, right? So you're paying for additional weight of that box within a box, you know, and things like this. Absolutely crazy and they, you know, they put out a message saying, uh, I'll show you a couple of pictures of uh, of the quality of the books that they created here. Anyway, they send out a message saying, listen, we're letting you know that this is what's happening. Uh, we're just not sure that we're going to survive this. And well, a few people have stepped up and said, listen, why don't you put up a, um, which is a great idea, uh, why don't you put up a a virtual tip jar, right? A digital tip jar. 
uh, which they have done. And, uh, and I'm so glad that they did do that because I, I don't want to see Anathema Publishing leave. I mean, they're my favorite publisher, you know, the quality of what they create. Can you see the texture on this paper? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I mean, oh, just, just look at that, folks. I don't want to see that go. So, so yes, yes, I, I've made a, 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 a d the donation that I could, right, uh, to the tip jar, and and hopefully a handful more people will be able to do so. Of course, Anathema understand that this is their fault, right? It's uh, it's no one's fault but their own for for poor planning. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, backers who don't have money to to send, then, you know, you're not being asked to. Uh, but if anyone is out there, you know, finding themselves by by luck, by chance or by 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 great planning, I don't know, with uh, with a few extra uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, or or any kind of money. In fact, um, there is a PayPal um, uh, account which is um, uh, which which has been shared, and which of course I'll share down in the description. Uh, but yeah, all of these pictures, I'm <laughs> like picture after picture is so so beautiful. Go and check out the newsletter. Go and check out the uh, the, the campaign, of course, and uh, and check out these these gorgeous, gorgeous books for yourselves. Of course, um, the pictures that I'm showing you are a combination of pictures from the new hardcover uh, Semisilam and also this paperback. And, you know, they were telling us that the paperback was going to be of extremely high quality. And you can tell. <laughs> you can tell already. The paper paperback of Yao, right? The paperback of, um, of, uh, of Yao, which was previously re released. As a, as a hardcover and this is the paperback and I think that people who missed out on the hardcover and uh, who who had to settle with the paperback I think you're going to be very pleased <laughs> I think you're going to be very pleased and here's a look at the uh, at the standard edition uh, of uh, of semi silam and uh, yeah I yeah Really, best of luck to you, Anathema. Um, it, it, so here is the link to the digital tip jar. As I say, I'll leave a link down below. We're starting off with news from my good friend Peter Coleman, uh, who has collaborated with Tehani Perham uh, to create this uh, really wonderful book, which I received just a couple of days ago, and I can't wait to show it to you in my end of month roundup. It's called Dark Arts and Crafts. It is uh, um, a history of the quirky things that have happened in the actual history of magic, um, uh, combined with some really nice spells designed for the practitioner in the 21st century. Dark Arts and Crafts, 13 spells for love, money, and self-care. Do you enjoy crafting and DIY projects? Uh, so you can tell already that this is a little tongue-in-cheek, but there's some really great meat here, and I just want to go into it a little bit. Do you also enjoy harnessing otherworldly forces to fulfill your every desire? And this is kind of where it gets uh, it gets it gets real, right? Have you ever wondered what would happen if Wednesday Adams did a collab with Martha Stewart? If your answer to these questions is yes, then this is the book for you. Based on traditional witchcraft, but with a modern twist, dark arts and crafts provides step by step step instructions for crafting everything from witch jars to voodoo dolls to magical makeup. Included are 13 spells for love, money, and self-care, interspersed with plenty of fun facts about the bizarre and often hilarious history of spell casting. So the the, the historical bits uh, uh, were dug up by Peter Coleman, and uh, yeah, it's it's just a, a, a really beautiful. Can I can I just uh, reach up out here, reach up into my shelves? Here we go. Just to give you an idea of, of how actually beautiful uh, this book is. So if you're based in Australia, uh, you can pick up a copy uh, uh, using the links down below, of course. Um, but uh, if you actually go through readings.com.au, they sell internationally. They, they actually send the books internationally. 
it's just checking out uh, the book on Amazon.au and it's actually out of out of print there so <laughs> it's going very very fast people are very are clearly clearly uh, appreciating it but uh, yeah well, I, I think that um, <laughs> once I actually show you a close look uh, at the end of the month with my end of month roundup uh, you're going to you're going to lap this up <laughs> it's it's really really nice really really nice as I say serious magic and just funny <laughs> it's so nice uh, to have some some um, some some humor in the domain and speaking of humor uh, another another master of bringing humor to, humor to the domain is dear lon milo duquette and uh, lon has announced his upcoming pre-orders for the tarot architect and this looks so cool folks i'm so excited for this how to become the master builder of your spiritual temple by lon milo duquette guys i i can't tell you how excited i am for this uh so this is coming out in may may 2025 and of course i'll give you a a reminder but the pre-orders are already available so head over to amazon.com and put in your pre-orders it's number one uh in uh, in the pre-orders at the moment in hermeticism and rosicrucianism so uh, yeah i mean you, you don't need to know that to know that any book by Lon Milo Duquette is going to be worth picking up. Uh, so let's see. For many, the tarot serves as a compass, illuminating the path to their true will and guiding them to, uh, towards destiny. If you've ever felt stuck or unsure uh, of which way to turn, the tarot offers a beacon, revealing unseen options and providing clarity on difficult decisions. Now, you have a unique opportunity to master the art of tarot under Lon Milo Duquette, an internationally recognized authority on tarot and the esoteric well Lon Mary Duquette's um, uh, understanding Alistair Crowley's Thoth Tarot was already the number one book on tarot that I've been recommending to you know everyone and anyone who wants to get started in tarot who wants to get better in tarot who uh, wants to get from you know from level <laughs> 99 to level 100 uh, in tarot uh, and so yeah just knowing that there's going to be more of his wisdom on the topic and uh, yeah in a kind of a different direction this time it seems right it's a transformative journey into the arcane world of tarot that guides you through the depths of tarot with a unique blend of scholarship and humor transforming your understanding of self and universe alike it's filled with, with guided meditations correspondences and thought-provoking exercises that will enrich your practice and ignite your spiritual evolution so what more could you possibly hope for? Um, I'm I'm extremely excited and uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, uh, to see this pop up on Amazon.pl, my local Polish Amazon, of course. Right, let's move on to news from David Heim Smith. The autumn equinox brings us a sale, a very impressive sale at that. Uh, the 32 Keys, which really, folks, if you don't know about the 32 Keys, check out my review of uh, uh, editions one and two. Uh, the, it was volume three of The Lightning Flash of Aleph, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the, all of the books in The Lightning Flash of Aleph series were standalone books, and this was really the standout for many people. It came with a deck of cards, for contemplation and it's uh it's 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 extraordinary absolutely extraordinary it's beautiful it's uh practical it's just great and the second edition brings so much more to the table there's um the 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 the, the instructions are so clear uh, uh it's just a gorgeous gorgeous book uh, and it's available for a hundred dollars instead of 140 that's a steal uh, i I, I promise. I promise that's a steal. Some people would charge that much for that much for the deck alone, and this is a beautiful Smithsonian book, with uh, yeah, with an accompanying deck. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, and uh, and 
definitely well worth the money. Again, Black Ether, really insightful uh, um, thoughts on uh, on 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 David Hindsmith's uh, approach to the Black Ether. Uh, again, this is seventy two dollars instead of ninety seven. The Ineatic again seventy two instead of ninety seven, and then you can get the Trio. All three of these. Um, uh, extant books right um, uh, very very well received within the occult community for 222 instead of 333 uh, 334 excuse me that's a significant saving and uh, and definitely worth uh, picking up and of course his psychoetheric alchemy paperbacks right you can get the entire collection right now for 134 instead of 154 dollars uh, that's uh, that's as I say, it's a steal. <laughs> you can uh, you can go ahead with that um, uh, just just very confidently. And finally, he's offering a, a an autumn uh, promo code. If you just write autumn in the checkout uh, or capital letters, you'll get twenty five percent. Excuse me, twenty five dollars, not percent. Twenty five dollars off any video course. And uh, yeah, you can check out a little excerpt from his Ibri Gate video course uh, by clicking on the link there. So I'll leave all of those details, just the link to this uh, to this newsletter, so you can go ahead and uh, uh, make the most of this fantastic sale. Pennsylvania German Cultural Heritage Center are publishing Sour's Herbal Cures, America's first book of botanic healing. Um, so William Wise Weaver, uh, an internationally known uh, food ethnographer and author of 22 books dealing with culinary history and heritage seeds. Uh, he's a founder of uh, the non-profit organization, the Roughwood Center for Heritage Seedways. Uh, got news about his grandfather here. Um, uh, da, 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 um, received PhD in ethnography from uh, University College Dublin. Um, so this is <clears throat> uh, the first American herbal printed in Sauer's Agricultural Almanacs between 1762 and 1778. There we go. Uh, simple as that. It's a system of botanical medicine cures and remedies based on the use of herbs. The Sauer's Herbal Cures is rooted in the medical thinking of the late Middle Ages and Renaissance, yet it's uh, in its own way unique. It forms a bridge between that era and 18th century colonial America, lavishly illustrated with, originally, with original woodcuts from immigrant herbals from Sauer's era. Sauer's Herbal Cures illuminates the folk cultural attitudes towards health and healing among the Pennsylvania Dutch. From the time of trans transatlantic immigration, there we go. Uh, it looks interesting. It's a interesting bit of uh, of history, right? Um, and certainly, in terms of uh, uh, anyone following the green path, this uh, could be of interest to you. Then we've got news from Revelor Press, who have a second edition of Robert P. Blaschka's Progressions. So Robert P. Blaschka is a yeah, yeah, a, 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 an awesome astrologer, and uh, uh, this this book progressions is uh, yeah, it's gathering some some interest, and there's a quite a, a <laughs> well a series a series of uh, of books that um, at Revelor Press have got lined up here, um, progressions being the first. So we've got Sabian aspect orbs, a handbook for the self employed astrologer relationship analysis and uh, holographic transits all sounds very very interesting and of course if you hop over to Revelor Press and just scroll down a little bit uh, you'll be able to put in your pre-order of course uh, these ship out on the 5th of October and uh, let's see you can have a look at the contents over here and decide for yourself if this looks like something that you could be interested in. I'm getting more and more interested in astrology personally. Uh, I, I I brought you guys with me on my own journey of discovery as I was just working out what the basics were. And uh, now that I'm getting a little bit beyond the basics, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's very, very good stuff. 
there we go. So Rod P. Blaschka has been, um, uh, well, he was practicing when I was born, 1979. That's my date of birth. Um, there we go. Um, so, yeah, really, really cool to see that uh, in back in print. Okay, uh, we've got news from Watkins Books who are stocking the Oak, Ash and Thorn Tarot by Three Trees Tarot. So this is a tarot that was illustrated by um, by Oellers. Uh, I forget his... P Peter Oellers, I, I think it uh, is his first name. I've been uh, pointing you guys to his, uh, to his work for a little while. This tarot was kick-started and it's finally uh, been sent to backers but it's it's available for insane prices folks if you look for this tarot up on etsy it's going for like 250 dollars uh, and you can see how gorgeous it is how absolutely beautiful it is uh, and yeah watkins books happen to have uh, uh, a copy or more <laughs> uh, for $52, for £52.99. There we go, pounds sterling. Of course, they do ship internationally, so reach out and um, and and put in your orders, folks. This is a, 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 a really, really lovely tarot, tarot deck, uh, nature-based, as you can see. And then there's the Christina Ritchie... Uh, Cat Full of Spiders tarot deck, which <laughs> which uh, caught my attention this week. Um, uh, yeah, Christina Ritchie's uh, own tarot deck with uh, with some e each card features a cartoon of uh, Christina Ritchie herself, uh, it's, and they're 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 kind of cool. <laughs> yep, Christina Ritchie and cats. There we go. Uh, it's 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 nice. It's a it's a it's a it's a nice. Novelty deck. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> cat full of spiders. All right. Um, yes, my location's set to Poland. Uh, sure. Uh, continue. Let me through, please. Hello. Um, let me change those uh, do some Polish zlotys to to dollars so we can see what we're doing, folks. I found this website. It's not particularly esoteric, but uh, I I. <laughs> How could I not talk about this? <laughs> All right, I found an excuse to talk about it on this uh, kind of esoteric, occult, focused uh, news segment. Uh, there's a there's a really lovely pomegranate pendant, right? So uh, so 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 yeah, that's my excuse for showing you this stuff. But look at these folks. I, I just think they're so beautiful. I think they're so cool. Um, am I going to wear them? No. <laughs> do I wish I could wear them? Yeah, of course I do. Um, they're very, very lovely. I think they're, I mean, uh, looking at them a little bit closer, the, you know, the quality is you get what you pay for, right? Um, it's not uh, it's not sterling silver or anything like that. But uh, there we go. There's the pomegranate that... Uh, that I was telling you about, you know, for any of you out there um, with any kind of um, uh, practice to Persephone uh, or or anyone else related to the pomegranate, uh, then uh, then I think that's particularly lovely. But um, yeah, love this, absolutely love this. Look at that lemon. <laughs> it's just so cool. You can keep things inside. I ah. Oh. I, I, I think it's wonderful. There we go. Uh, let's move on to, uh, yeah, the Critical Thinking Witch Collective. And this is an event coming up on 27th to 29th of September. Guys, I was just looking at the agenda here. And it looks good. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Check this out. So, um, uh Let's see, starting from the very top here, from Friday 27th of September, uh, which is ball, which <laughs> sounds quite nice. Um, this is all online, okay? <clears throat> and then you get an opening ritual, conjuring the vessel, presentation, glossary and guide, group spells, break, expressing magic, art uh, as a craft, building visible communities, um, social community uh, convene, cauldron talks, power of perception and perspective, uh, smoke and mirror ghosts, 
Um, let's see, uh, da, 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 the scientific method in building a craft. Uh, presentation, the power of ritual in remembering and in letting go. Live episode of Hex Positive, uh, Stardust Sessions. Okay, uh, just... Take a look at these, you know. <laughs> I think there's there's uh, there's there's plenty uh, to be to be excited about, right? New witch, new uh, new to critical thinking, witchery uh, questions down here. Mindfulness and the magic of the mundane, shadow work and perception. Uh, I think that whether you're new to magic in general or an old hand, I think there's going to be something of interest to you, you know. I really I really think so. And it seems to be focused on uh on building community, which I think is nice. I think that's that's really uh yeah, it's, that's good. <laughs> it's really good. You can get your tickets over here by clicking on this get tickets um um button, right? And you can see that really the uh the, the tickets are very very reasonably priced. I think that's um, I think that's really cool, really very very cool. Uh, so yeah, go and check it out. The Critical Thinking Witch Collective. And you can find out a little bit more about um, about the the presenters and uh, who's involved and so on and so forth. I like this. Okay, we've got news from Jason Miller, who's announced that his strategic sorcery deep dive is actually going ahead. So he announced this a little while ago uh, that he wanted to take his normal strategic sorcery course kind of to the next level and to turn it into a, from what I understand, a year-long um, uh, uh, event, right? Uh, so this is beginning in October. October 2nd, 15 years ago, launched uh, I launched a strategic sorcery course. It's been his most popular course, right? A year-long email course in practical magic. It's still available today at the price it was over a decade ago, $150 for the year, which works out to less than three bucks a lesson. I'm now offering something that I've only offered once before, and I don't know if I'll offer it again, the strategic sorcery deep dive. Bi-weekly audio Q&As on the strategic sorcery material. This will go on for one year. It works like this. You read or reread the lessons, you ask questions in the Q&A thread, and then every two weeks you get a recording of me reading and answering the questions. So it's a way of getting the, um, the, uh, the, the strategic sorcery course, which is all pre-recorded, and getting to be a little bit more involved, right? So you get to ask Jason Miller the questions, any questions that you have regarding um, this uh, latest session, right? And he does a Q&A. So I think that's that's pretty cool. So the cost for the deep dive is 50 bucks a month or $600 over the entire year. So for the, for the entire year. There we go. So that's uh, that's exciting. And then uh, Sarah Jane's reached out to me like I was just about to hit the record button uh, to start this this uh, this show, and uh, I got a I got a ping <laughs> uh, from Sarah Jane's saying, "Here's a link that might interesting that might interest you." Are you kidding me? The path to the divinization of man, the Eleusinian mysteries online seminar with Maria Maragu. Uh, so this is happening on the 22nd of September. So in just a couple of days time, right? Uh, and it's going to be live from Greece on Zoom at uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern European summer time. So that's one hour ahead of me in Poland, uh, Central European. Uh, it's two hours ahead of time of the UK, London. Uh, and so, yeah, so it's basically Greece Greece time, right? Uh, the, whatever, whatever time it is in Athens, you can then calculate what time is going to be for you wherever you are in the world. Uh, but yeah, it's 30 pounds, folks, for 30 pounds for an entire two hour seminar uh, on the Eleusinian, Eleusinian mysteries uh, led by a, uh, an expert in the field. 
I can't tell you how excited I am for this. Uh, so with author, researcher, chemical engineer and uh, Greek Mr. Gog, Maria Maragou, uh, one guide, uh, sorry, our guide for the sacred way, Maria Maragou, uh, is the most incredibly, incredible, oh my goodness, I'm getting tired, incredible, divinely inspired and inspiring guide a true genius philosopher and mystic who has written nine books in her native Greek that explore Homeric Greek, mystery language, spiritual wisdom, and ritual in ancient Greece. Maria, a chemical engineer by training, specializes in deep etymological analysis and has published studies on Dionysus, Homer, and the mysteries of Elefsina. The English version of her best-selling Greek book about the mysteries of Elefsina, The Path to the Divinization of Man, will be available for the first time to all those joining us on the Sacred Way in person on the 22nd of September. Right? The Sacred Way is, uh, is this, uh, this, this group uh, that, uh, that uh, from what I understand, it is led uh, by, by Sarah Janes. Uh, this two-hour seminar which will take place on the same day that our group of dream pilgrims make their offerings to the goddesses and gods of the sanctuary in Eleusis offers a truly unique insight to the telete in the telesterium and it also gives anyone from anywhere in the world the opportunity to ask questions of in my humble opinion the unrivaled expert and living hierophantus on the subject there we go so yeah i i think that's probably going to be of interest to many of you it's certainly of great interest to me um uh, so that's sunday 22nd of september uh, at uh, tw uh, half past 8 p.m uh, uh, athens time and then finally my board game of the week it's available currently on Game Found, and it's Lands of Galzia. So this is actually a game that came out a year ago, I think, maybe a little bit um, more than a year ago. It's getting a, it's getting an expansion, uh, which is the reason why it's back on Game Found, and many people are buying it for the first time on Game Found with or without the expansion, and it's essentially it's a it's a, a a land to explore and i i like those kinds of games anyway but apparently according to people who've played it apparently this is done particularly well right so i i loved playing destinies i enjoyed playing the seventh continent uh, but this apparently blows all of that away and uh, and it's a apparently a joy to play so i'm kind of all for that i i like the idea of um of a land to explore on a table right rather than you know on on a on a tv screen right uh, via, via console or, or or on a computer monitor if you if you play um, uh, with a pc but uh, I, I i like the idea of bringing out cards and interacting with the characters that you meet in a land via cards and via dice and via tokens you know i i really enjoy that um that the kind of kinesthetic aspect of that so yeah i'm 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 really up for this uh it can be played solo i ex i don't know i i play destinies solo i can't imagine that i would enjoy playing it with someone else I tried playing Seventh Continent with another player and it was just better solo. In my opinion, if you're exploring a place, you just want to explore the place, right? Uh, you don't want to be waiting for the other person to take their turn. Um, uh, it, it, of course, it can, work, it can work on a computer game where you're both actually playing at the same time um, on separate screens but here you're you're really sharing resources so no I in my opinion this is likely to be best solo and this is the expansion uh, dreams and mysteries which is yeah why once again I'm kind of uh, <laughs> expanding the uh, the scope of uh, the foolish fish news to uh, uh, to accommodate this it's it's this this expansion is my excuse kind of thing <laughs> there we go
There we are, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. I hope you found a couple of books, courses, uh, even jewelry, uh, or even a board game, possibly, uh, that you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a thumbs up, do leave, hit the like button. It helps the channel incredibly. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you'd like to support the channel, then really the Patreon is the best way to do that. Uh, and I really appreciate anyone who does uh, support the channel in that way. And so that's going to be it from me for today. Do look after yourselves, do look after each other. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.